What's up, 4Gamers? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 ideas to make Lost Light a better game. But before I do so, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, before I share my own ideas, let me know yours. Comment down below what you think would make Lost Light a better game. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Starting at number one with the list is First Person Perspective. We've been asking for this ever since the game came out. We are also teased of this in a previous video I made which I'll be linking up here where FPP or first person perspective will be the default view for the possible hardcore game mode in the game. Devs have also confirmed that first person perspective to be in their pipeline of changes but currently not in their priority of changes for the game. We will still have to wait for this one the more the game is developed so stay tuned. Adding a search bar on crafting. To a newer player, searching items for exchange or crafting are not as easy to navigate and locate the craftables that you want for your workbench, medical station, or intelligence station. Even to veteran players, scrolling can be tedious and consume more time browsing instead of actually getting some crafting done. This feature is already present in the black market where you can utilize a search bar for the specific item you want to buy. It wouldn't be a difficult change for developers as they can just paste the same code or functionality in the crafting table UI. This will indeed make crafting easier, faster, and an improvement of life in the game. The ability to holster weapons in the shelter. We understand that the current timeline of the game indicates that danger and hostility is in every corner, but it just doesn't make sense that our character is still pointing the gun out in your own shelter. A slight change would be to allow us to holster the weapon or at least hide the weapons when we are in the shelter. We can't even use these weapons unless we are in the shooting range. So what's the point of waving them around when you are sorting storage, crafting, or even just buying items? This change will make players appreciate the character model more and give us a feel of realism as to how a firefly acts or is when inside the shelter. Adding to this is the future update where custom skins or costumes will be available for the rumored battle pass coming along with the game. And having our weapons holstered will make the said skins more appealing and noticeable. Add a leaning feature. Since Lost Light's current default perspective is third person view, the ability to lean should be a common feature. As most TPP games such as PUBG or PUBG Mobile or even common shooters such as Rainbow Six Siege and other modern shooters have this action as a form of tactic when engaging in gunfight. For those who are unaware, leaning makes the player peek corners or walls with just a fraction of their body or head showing. This ensures a percentage of safety when engaging into medium or short peak in gunfights as well as a way for us to gain info to where enemies are in case we finally get the first person view in the game. Adding this feature should be a piece of cake for the developers as this was already a present feature in one of their most popular games, namely Rules of Survival. So if they were able to do it then, they should be able to do it now. Allow us to merge medkits. It is so tedious when you consume some of your medkits and manage to loot a brand new stack of it, forcing you to drop the first medkit you had. It would be a much more efficient way if we are able to combine the consume medkits or healing items in general without exceeding the stack. For example, I got a 450 medkit and a 50 medkit in my inventory. It would be better if I could combine both medkits to produce a 500 stack medkit instead of having two stacks of medkits consuming an inventory slot each. Yes, from a certain standpoint, a slot or two would not be an issue. But every slot counts when we are looting. And an excessive consumed slot can be a problem where we can pick up more valuable items and increase our raid gain just because of that issue. Enable us to unload bullets from weapons. Looting weapons can be great especially when the gun is actually good and in good shape in terms of durability. But what if the gun is not good? What other use can we get for it? The answer are the bullets. There should be an option to unload magazines or bullets in general for weapons that you loot around in the area. Like in a real life situation, if you have a decent gun but lack the ammo, I would take out the ammo from the other guns to benefit my own. Adding this feature will be another improvement of life for us players and give us a more efficient approach in ammo management. Custom Avatars Our current avatars are not so bad but they're also very generic. Adding your own photos can give a more personal touch and make you appreciate the design of your player profile page as well. We currently only have the default avatars given at the start of the game. And adding custom avatars would be a very cool minimal change and also help us distinguish players from the NPCs on loading screens. 
add clans or factions. One of the best parts of this game is the social interaction with other players. In one moment, your worst enemy can be your best ally. It would be a great addition if they could add clans or factions so that people that group up a lot can play together consistently. Just like other clan features, it would have a reward system, group missions, and exclusive items or equipment that can only be bought by using the clan XP or points. Grouping up with people that fit with your playstyle also makes the game more enjoyable, whether it be in a casual or competitive way. Controller support To all my mobile gamer viewers, I salute you! I will always give the respect that mobile players deserve in terms of gaming. As a PC guy myself, I have tried my fair share of shooting games on a mobile phone, and I have to say it takes a lot of skill and practice to be actually good at it. So the idea here is, for those who are not 4, 5, or 6 finger gods on a mobile phone, a good addition would be to introduce controller support for the game. This addition will broaden the range of options for the player base to use in playing Lost Light. And last but not the least is adding melee weapons. When all the chips are down and the bullets on the ground, what do you do? Pull out a knife. Adding melee weapons to the game will bring in a new dynamic in gameplay as stealth and concealed movement will be more prominent in contributing to the survival aspect that Lost Light is known for. Although the game gives us a default pistol that has disgustingly so much ammo, it would be better if the players had the option to utilize a melee weapon instead. This way, they can conserve ammo and divert into a close range engagement with high damaging weapons. One modification of this idea is if the melee weapons would not work out, is to add a melee attack option with the current weapon that you are holding, where each attack can degrade the weapon's durability as well. So that was the list! What did you guys think? Do you agree or disagree with my picks? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next one.